It's time for Plus Trending, where we take a, a quick look at some of the biggest topics driving conversations on social media. Hashtag, of course, end SARS protests. That's uh, the first big one. Yes, all through the week, uh, we have shared updates and engaged in detailed analysis of the end SARS conversation. But here's a quick recap. On Saturday, news broke that the FSAS arm of the police had allegedly killed a young person in Ugeli Delta State. Reaction soon trailed the incident on social media, and this led to the ban of FSAS and some other tactical squads, as announced by the federal government and the Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu. However, some recent events have placed the hashtag end SARS now and end SARS protest at the very top of the trend map. Here to shed more light on this is our in-house social media manager, Buki November. A pleasure to have you join us. Same here, Felicity. Go ahead, shed more light. What's going on? Okay, so first off, I think it's, it's proper to just start by saying I'm very impressed by the fact that we didn't just keep this conversation to social media. People actually made promises to protest and they kept their promise. Usually when you have things like this happen, we rant, we vent on social, and then everybody, two, two three days, everybody moves on. But this time around, they actually kept that promise. They came out and they spoke their mind. So the um, IGP and federal government announced that SARS banned, and then everyone was like, okay, yeah, we, we like that idea. I mean, the protest had already been... They were not banned, remember? They well, were only stopped from patrol and well, other... Well, the, 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 the big news was banned. <laughs> You get, and that was what people just took and said, okay, yeah, good news. But then they still were planning the protest. Okay, so Naramali and other celebrities had planned this protest. And then on Tuesday, um, Naramali announced that, oh, they were going to have, it was going to have an Insta Live conversation with the, well, the police force. And then we had the PRO of the police come out and have this conversation with him. Now, before the conversation began, Naramali was preparing to you know, start the Insta Live. And then he goes, Oh, um, you know, people that don't want um, SARS in Nigeria are armed robbers. You know, we still need them because the rate of crime in this country, blah, blah, blah. And then the PR comes in and then he says, oh, SARS isn't banned. They're still going to be involved in cases of kidnapping and um, um, criminal or robbery in the country. And then people are like, okay, so what exactly do you mean? What exactly is it we got from this? Or what, what exactly is it? we're doing with SARS. Are they banned? Are they not banned? What is it they are supposed to do or supposed, not supposed to do? And then um, the PR also came and said, okay, you know what, we need well-meaning Nigerians to actually invest in police force. We need them to, you know, provide tasers. No, don't give us money. Just equipment, you know, proper cars, guns, tasers. And I'm like, I don't understand. Tasers also do harm. I mean, is it... Don't they understand what we're trying to say? It's not about the it's not about shooting people. Tasers also can kill people. But, but there seems I mean, to be a divide. Yeah, I, I think the, I think it's mostly because um, we are always this is where the conversation is. This is what Nigerians are saying. No one's asking you about tasers. No one's asking you about cutlass. No one's asking you about catapult. We're simply saying that the special anti-robbery squad has become more of a danger to Nigerian youth than even the armed robbers, mm -hmm. and they need to be disbanded. They need, something needs to be done. Um, no one is asking or mentioning about the equipment or the arms or the you know, ammunition that they use. That's not the conversation here, so, so let's not divert. Um, Nair Mali, of course, um, has done what was expected. Yeah. Um, so what happened yesterday? There was, there was a follow-up protest yesterday. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So protest, three-day protest. I mean, I even thought it was just going to be in Lagos, but apparently they had one in Ugeli also, and they had one in, in Abuja. And then people came out. In fact, there's also a petition that, um, according to the Vanguard, about 3,000 people had signed the petition. Yeah, Actually, before before the you go ahead, these also. protests, uh, just, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot now. No problem, the, these protests, um, on the one hand, you have a group saying, ban, I mean, banned SARS, mm -hmm. on the uh, reform SARS. Yeah. There is another group saying um, dismantle, yeah. remove but. SARS. We don't want SARS anymore. And mm -hmm. that's from the group of um, Files and Run Town. Yes. Why Naira Mali on his part is saying, just rejig, no, don't ban it. You I mean, know? So whose like, okay, who's voice is loudest? Like Osage said, the, 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 the bone of contention here is the fact that the activities of these people are harmful 
to Nigerians mostly. They are not, they do more harm than good. So ban them, reform them, fix the problem. That's just what we want. Fix this problem. How do you fix the problem? If, the pro if you honestly feel like the problem will be fixed by reforming these people, go ahead and reform. But, but people protesting, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if, but what we, what many Nigerians want is to just end it. Let them go. I mean, we have the police. Why can't we just have the police do that? I mean, you, it's like saying, okay, you're, dri you're driving down the road and then you see the police. You already know that they are law enforcement. But I don't want to see a certain group of people that, I don't even know what they're doing there. I, I mean, come on, they're, they're scary people. You don't, they, they, most people have called them irrational online. You need to see the comments. These people are people you can't even have a conversation because they already have a perception of you. As soon as they see you coming, you already have dreadlocks. And you, in fact, if you're driving a Benz, you're in, pro, you're in trouble, according to what I read online. You get, so people don't, we don't, they don't want them. Have Let you, them go. Let the police do their job. Have you also seen um, um, comments about the fact that it doesn't seem to be effective because we still have them uh, we still have oh yes, we have of videos them, of events yes. still occurring involving these. Yes, officers. I saw this one that happened in Edo State, and then people actually gathered around these people, and they were like, "What are you doing here? What are you doing?" And it was going to become a problem. But I think the the, um, the agents they left, but people are now very vocal about these things. They confronted these people, and I was like, "Whoa, aren't you even scared that they're going to shoot or something?" And these people they weren't scared; they were actually in their face and say, "What are you doing here? What are you?" It, it has gotten to that stage. You know? where, where do you think, um, where do you expect, and one thing that you know, I was going to say when you mentioned the fact that they had, you know, there's an end SARS, there's a reform SARS, mm -hmm. there's a you dilute SARS, um, the fact that we, <laughs> we have that's heard, a new one we have heard, <laughs> we have heard um, you know, these same messages over and over, you know, Nigerians, I think that's one of the reasons why this one is still going on. Because we've heard uh, um, messages from the uh, police force before. We've heard from the IGF police, you know, yeah, saying that this, is, and it, you know, never really, you know, takes effect. Yeah. You know, even yesterday on my way home, I still saw SARS officers um, close to Oniru Market doing what they normally do, um, harassing, you know, people for no reason. Um, where do you think this will go? Mr. Macaroni was out last night. Um, Fowles was out yesterday morning. Yeah. Ron Town was out. Uh, Peter or Paul, I'm not sure which of the Peace Square brothers so was out. Tiwa There's was a lot out of them. Yes. Yeah, was out yesterday. Everyone. Dalton was out yesterday. How far do you think this one would go? Because I know that they had um, the um, Lego State Speaker also met with them late last night in Alausa. Um, they had a sleepover protest. They didn't go home. They were there all through yeah. the night till 4 a.m., 5 a.m. This morning when I woke up, they were still there. Um, so how far do you think they will go with this one? Okay, so I know the protest is supposed to span three days. M what I'm more concerned about is what happens after the protest is done. Because it's easy to say, okay, we, protest, we even slept. This, this, is, this protest is unique. Like, we haven't had, I don't think we've ever had one like this that was social media led, that became a reality, that became an actual protest. I mean, it started from, on, from the online platforms. But then my concern right now is what happens after the three days? What happens from Saturday? But you know, aren't you worried that the government will not um, um, shift, or do you think that the continued pressure in the next three days will compel? Okay, so know? honestly, I don't think they're going to ban SARS. I don't think SARS is actually going to leave the scene totally. What I think they're going to do is probably start putting some, start checking some of their excesses. I mean, actively checking some of their excesses. I mean, okay, so one of the reasons why they are protesting is that the ban SARS one or the NSAS one, is that they want people who have been killed or, or, or humiliated or harmed by these people to also be compensated, including their families. So, so they know that there are consequences for their actions. You are not all powerful. You can't just do whatever you like and then just get away with it. So what I think they're going to end up doing is just put checks and balances in place. I mean, actively put them in place. But you see, for SARS to leave this in totally, I honestly don't think that will happen. I honestly don't. But then I have a question, though, that I've been trying to answer. I, if they ban SARS, does it mean that these guys become jobless? No. no exactly. Yeah, so why, why, the... why is it so difficult to actually just end I, this I, part? I, I, one, well, I think, one, again, one. it's the name, really. It's a special anti-robbery yeah. there's, 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 there's a kidnapping. Is there's an, an anti-kidnapping. But they might squad. decide, what if they decide to just change the name? That's something that plays it, in my head as so well. So there's, there's an anti-kidnapping squad. There's an anti-cultism squad. There is a, an anti-terrorism unit. There is um. an anti-robbery squad. There's, mm -hmm. there's so much of it in the same police force. Um, that have automatically become more of a problem than um, a solution. 
Um, and I was asking yesterday because I, I need people to understand how bad this is. Um, I was asking yesterday, one of the things that I mentioned, I'm still going to repeat it again. When you wake up at 3 a.m. to not allow banging on your door and you hear that it's armed robbers, or you wake up at 3 a.m. loud banging on your front door and you hear it's sales officers, do you feel different? Is there anyone that brings you comfort? No. To say, oh, okay, oh, it's sales, okay, I'm good. Absolutely Just, not. I don't. So, so they, 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 they feel the same way. Yeah. And it is... Um, from what I, what I see, it's not just about them being unruly. It is now almost seeming like a crime ring that is simply just there to make money off of, of so the, 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 the other part mm -hmm. of the argument that I find um, intriguing is the explanation that's been given repeatedly by the police. They're oh, wow. saying that these units are necessary to do manage the fighting of crime. So my worry is they might just succumb to pressure and instead of rejigging, they rename because a lot of persons are just sad, sad, sad. So if they now change it to maybe crime fighters no, club they, they, or okay, something and the same people don't have the, you know, the orientation to change, the same scenario will continue to yeah, play out. I was just going to say that yeah. if you rename, change their name if you like, I mean, it doesn't change anything. It's the people we are worried about. The people are the ones we are complaining about, not the names. I need to, you, you need to see policemen and actually feel like you're safer because you saw a policeman. But then you see a SARS official coming and then you're worried because you don't even know if they will be rational enough to hear you speak or they'll just see you and just assume and then just do whatever it is they like and then you're, they're not accountable to anyone. You don't know who you would go to and say, well, this happened to you. I, I think what? the school of thought that checks and balances are needed, punitive that is measures what and want. all of that, um, be more obvious about it. It's not internal things. Somebody does something openly and you punish the person secretly. Yeah. So if the person does something openly, it's imperative that you punish that person openly so others see that indeed you can't get away uh, with the crime that you've committed. Why, why do we have a, a special unit of the police force um, moving around with the small buses? Why do we have them double-crossing cars in traffic with those small buses? Why do we have a special unit of the police force that doesn't wear police Honestly, uniforms? I, 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 used to think, I used to think these people were act, usually act on um, information, like probably something happened and they just heard that, oh, these people are in this place, you just go there, that's, you know, that's round expected. them up like you see in the movies, just round them up and then get the people. And, but then when you hear the, them stopping people who, wake up, you, people who wake up in the morning going to work and then they stop them on the road and then they arrest them and then put them, you've heard, we've seen things online. And so what, what information, what, why are you arresting them? What did they do wrong? Well, let's see what happens with the conversation going forward. Hopefully uh, there will be something positive from the uh, movement by these celebrities yeah. um, uh, off social media for a change. Let's Absolutely. Let's Thank you very much. And let them take November those red tapes off or, their guns also. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Boogie, for coming on Thank The Breakfast this morning. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you.